Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner, Sunday, February 9, 2014. Class 109, Entries, Part 4. The next hand is going to emphasize the use of entries in getting the tricks that you need, but also it outlines a fundamental principle of bridge that you should exercise any time you are declare. Let me outline it. Can you find nine tricks in the following hand? The following hand is a lesson on entry management. It also teaches you to, when in a difficult position, take the position that the cards are placed in a manner that allows you to make your contract. You might as well. Put on a happy face. That's the whole point. Nothing was ever won by pessimism. So keep smiling. Be happy. Put on a happy face. Two chances are better than one. You are south. You are the dealer. Both sides are vulnerable. The bidding is very simple. One no trump, pass. Three no trump, all pass. West makes the opening lead of the jack of spades, and here comes the dummy. Plan the play. We've been here before. Winners, you have two spades, you have three hearts, and three diamonds. That's eight tricks. You need one more. You don't have time to establish the clubs, and you don't have time to do a lot of anything. There's only one way that you can get nine tricks. It's only one place, and it's in diamonds. So let's look at diamonds. There are seven diamonds between you. That leaves six out. How are you going to get a fourth diamond trick? You can afford to lose a lead once, and only once. They can get three clubs and a diamond, but that's all. There are two ways you could play this hand. In looking at it, there are two chances are better than one chance. Take the best percentage play. It's clear that you need the ace of spades as an entry to the diamonds. So as we've seen in before in several hands, you know where you got to win the first trick. It's going to be in your hand. A hold-up isn't going to do you anything because the clubs are also open. There's no sense in ducking. You're going to need every tempo that you have to set up the diamond suit. Win trick one in the hand. King of spades. Now the diamond suit. Let's look at it. If it splits 3-3, you make the hand. But really, that's pretty bad percentage play. You could play the King Queen of Diamonds over to the Ace of Spades and then the Ace of Diamonds. If they don't split, you're out of luck. So you're only going to make the hand 36% of the time if you play that way. There's another possibility. You do have good spot cards. You're at 9, 8, 7, 6. You're missing the Jack and the 10. Cash the King and then the Queen, but overtake with the Ace. Why? Because you have two chances, and two chances are better than one. Put on that happy face. Let's look at it. If diamond splits 3-3, three, three, or either opponent has the doubleton 10 or jack, you also make the hand. Let's look at the next screen to see what actually happened on this hand. In this actual hand, East had jack doubleton of diamonds. You play the king of diamonds and queen overtaking the jack falls. You lead out the nine. And that drives out the ten. And you still have the ace of spade entry to the fifth diamond. Good chance. Two chances are better than one. Three, three, or you drop the double ten, ten, or jack of diamond. That improves your odds considerably. Playing the king and queen and then a spade to the ace fails because they don't split 3-3 three, three, and they probably won't. Hand number two, plan for the worst, but again, put on a happy face, hope for the best. Optimism is a blessing at the bridge table. If a card must be in a particular hand for you to make your contract, assume it to be so. Why not? But, if you can, Plan for it, assume the worst, and then play for that. Let's look at a real example. Assume the best, but plan for the worst. You are south. This is your hand. The bidding goes one spade. 
by you, two clubs, your partner raises to two spades, three clubs by east, you go to four spades and everyone passes. Opening lead is the ace of clubs, dummy comes down. Plan the play. You have one diamond loser, ace of diamonds, two club losers, and you might lose a heart. Well, is there any way you can get rid of that heart loser? No. There's no way of get rid of the clever diamond loser? No. So, the heart finesse must be on or you're down. So, put on a happy face. Assume that East has the king of hearts. Next step. How can you plan for the best given that the king is with East? He might, as usual, as we've seen, he might have king fourth. So this is very much like the hand in class two of entries. Repeated finesses. Here's the hand again. West Cash is the ace king of clubs. He decides to lead a diamond. Dummy's queen goes to the ace and east returns a diamond to dummy's king. You've lost all the tricks you can afford to lose. Now, you need to plan for continued finesses through east. Play a heart to your queen and it holds. Good, the king is there. The ace king of trump follows and a spade to dummy's queen, a trick eight. You're back in dummy. Now you lead the ten. West shows out and east plays low. Now you're still in dummy to lead the third heart and you play the jack, finesse. You succeeded. Here's the whole hand. Game is over. You finally, you got all the heart tricks you can get. Key points. Assume the king's heart is on side because if it's not, you're down. Plan for repeated heart finesses by using every lead from dummy to advantage in finessing hearts. And lead the ten of hearts to remain in the dummy for the second finesse. This is similar to the hand we saw in class two, class 107. Tomorrow, we're going to look at the last class on entries, entries part five. See you tomorrow.